Hi, hello. This is Anoop here, and today we are going to talk about U E M U E M Unified Endpoint Management Tools. What are those? Who are those vendors who provides U E M tools? And what is all about this U E M? It will be a quick video to explain what is U E M. Who are some of the best vendors in the UEM industry, as per Gardner, and what they are doing, and who are the challenges, etc., etc. We'll see all those details in this video, so don't skip it. Let's get into it. What you are going to see over here is a comparison between 2018 and 2022 so gardner published magic quadrant for unified endpoint management tools in 2018 as well as in 2022 okay so over here you can see challengers niche players visionaries leaders so these these are the four quadrants right magic quadrants as per gardner Okay, and <clears throat> you can see the players over here. Challengers, Ivanti is was a challenger back in 2018, and you can see Matrix 42 over here and Manage Engine and other softwares as well, Snow Software, etc., etc. But if you concentrate on the leaders, you can see VMware, Microsoft, IBM, BlackBerry. <clears throat> mobile iron etc and you can see citrix over here under the visionaries but the industry is changed a bit as per the gardener and the adoption of uem tool is changed as per gardener's research based on the enterprises they use uem tools so in 2022 the vendors are reduced a lot okay in this in this diagram from gardner you can see leaders microsoft is the one and the leaders itself is reduced to three vmware ivanti these are the three leaders in 2022 in uem industry manage engine is still there it was here in each place it's still there and matrix 42 it's still there challengers ibm okay ibm has moved from leaders to challenges that's interesting isn't it okay so this is an high level overview comparison between 2018 and 2022 now let's concentrate on what does uem okay and who are the main vendors as per 2022 so uem is nothing but unified endpoint management microsoft vmware ivanti manage engine matrix 42 ibm these are the main vendors who provides uem tools for the enterprise customers what is uem and how this is going to change the industry as per gardner research as per gardner by 2027 uem and digital experience tools will converge into autonomous endpoint management okay <laughs> that means organizations would be able to reduce the human efforts at least by 40 percentage that is what gardner says by 2027 we have seen many digital employee experience tools also coming up in the industry along with unified endpoint management solutions so at the end organizations are trying to reduce the human efforts and automate a lot of things in endpoint management world and gardner also says by 2025 more than 90 percentage of the clients will 
go with the cloud based uem tools okay so that is very significant if you are using on prem uem tools then probably most of the your, your organizations are moving to cloud based uem tool by 2025 and in the industry we can already see this if you look around and if you look at hdmd take away videos which we produced last year you would be able to see that change trend change right and we already discussed about digital employee experience also in the take away video of 2022 okay so hopefully this is not a surprise for most of you so basically what does uem what gardner is looking or what gardner's data shows as per their research within their enterprise customers what is uem uem should provide user centric view of devices across device platforms okay okay everywhere it's user centric <laughs> okay uh, and device platforms so device platforms means all the device platforms it should cover mobile devices computers i don't know lin linux chrome os everything it should cover under one platform okay, that is what enterprises are looking for maybe some enterprises are looking for agentless agent based solutions for device management maybe mac os iOS, Windows 11, etc., etc., and mainly on the mobile devices, organizations are looking for agentless device management solutions or UEM solutions because maybe they are worried about the battery of the mobile devices, battery usage of the mobile devices. They don't want any impact on. end user experience on mobile device because of uem solutions fair enough i would say and uem solution should be able to integrate with <laughs> different ecosystems within the industry as per as per the enterprises um, feedback and enterprises are expecting uem to handle iot devices and lot of lot of those kind of devices can okay, not only the standard device management platforms but all the other iot devices and um, and all the other things av vr devices etc etc maybe right so this is what the expectation from the industry on uem tools so we'll see who all the who all the vendors who will be doing all these new features new integration new sub platform support into their product in coming years so let's concentrate quickly on microsoft's uem solution that is nothing but intune yeah intune is UEM solution from Microsoft and Intune is a product umbrella under Intune there are lot of other products such as configuration manager aka SCM and let's look at what are the challenges which customers are facing with Intune as per Gardner okay reporting yes of course we all talk about intune reports those are basics limited etc etc and you can use graph api to pull the reports but graph api is is very easy no it is not very easy so reporting <clears throat> and we all know with the latest updates from microsoft they are putting lot of efforts into intune reporting so hopefully we would be able to see better reports advanced reports coming out of intune 
as a default report so another challenge which intune has or had was chrome os support linux you don't support all those platforms and probably enterprises were giving feedback to gardner about all these things maybe microsoft already heard this and as you know now microsoft intune supports chrome os linux endpoints some of them are in preview but still support started supporting it so microsoft is listening to feedback good complexity is the another point complexity of microsoft intune uh we always say intune is pretty easy to set up uh, with click of two buttons or three buttons or five buttons maybe if we can configure enter intune well hdmd already shared this intune is not very easy probably you you have an assumption that maybe it is a saas solution it is easy we don't need to set up anything infrastructure etc yeah that's correct we don't need to set up infrastructure similar to sscm but configuring the policies configuring the applications configuring the deployments creating the packages integrating with lot of other things it it is not very straightforward and hmm, it is interesting that people are enterprises are looking for third party application patching capabilities within into oh wow. that's a that's a good feedback maybe right so people are enterprises are looking for this solution and gartner highlighted this that means we'll see wait and see what is coming up whether microsoft is listening to feedback or not okay so now you know what is uem unified endpoint management tools and which are the vendors who are the challenges who are the leaders and what we should look for the future of uem tools and why microsoft is adding all these new capabilities so until next time see you bye bye